Chicago's best, so many restaurants probably come to mind. But what about our city's best chefs? Today, one very celebrated master in the kitchen is joining us at his CB fave. Who is it? Let's head inside Top Notch Beef Burgers and find out. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing incredible. I am so psyched that you guys let me be here. You're on every station in town except WGN, so we wanted yeah. to correct that. <laughs> yes. Welcome to Channel 9. Thank you. You're pretty successful. I've been lucky. It's, it's luck. luck. I mean, come on. Yeah. What but... is that like, being a Chicago celebrity? When you're in L.A. or New York, you almost feel like you're playing a certain role, and then you come back to Chicago and you're home and you're normal. Well, it's, it's just... nice to come home and be grounded. That's what I mean, exactly. I hear you like this place. I love this place. Why is Top Notch Beef Burger Chicago's best? The ambiance, I mean, take a look at it, right? It's like 1972. The food, everything's ground the day of. You taste that in every bite. What is your food philosophy? There's no right or wrong way to do something. If you want to make a carrot, carrot juice, carrot cake, roasted carrots, pickled carrots, once you have that mindset, you're pretty free to do anything. How much meat do you guys go through in a day? 70 pounds. Well, you better get to work then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got a lot to do. Little bits of meat, big bits of meat. All of it looks the same when it comes out at the end, right? Oh, more. Here you go. I couldn't oh, lift it, so I had to bring it you. to you on the oh, meat on train. This, not to be confused with the gravy train, which not is parked out back. Not to be confused. Meat is ground. Okay. Very easy. Okay, so I have to do a lot. So this is enough for me. Mind if I trade with you, Chef? No problem. Look at that All thing. right. I'm not sure I've mastered this process. All right, you How got it. How do we feel? You got Good? it. Good? With every patty, there's just a little meat spit. I want it in slow-mo, like just flying oh, no, at the that camera. Was, those oh. are very sad. The diet burger, the health conscious burger. And the graham burger. And the graham burger. Should this we is, take these to the flat top? I think so. That's just No, sad. just leave that. Just yeah, leave yeah. that that's, there. That's burger garnish. Put some sad music on it, OK? Mm. I'm told we each only need one, but that seems so wrong to me. Well, are you on a diet? I'm not. I'm not on a diet. I don't know nobody. Neither nothing. one of us. Okay. And I'm doing what you have so aptly named a panty melt. Oh, yes. I'm not going to screw this up. Oh, no. you already did. Oh, no. my God. How did you do that? Okay. Never mind. I'm seeing bubbles. Mm, you know when pancakes are done right, when you are feel them, feel, and it feels like Grandma's back. Oh. I just it ruined pancakes like for you. It feels like Grandma's back. And on that note, it's good. time to build our melt. I'm not even sure how I approach eating this. I didn't think that through as we were making it. I think that's a one-biter. We'll just chase it down with this. Yes, just a nice <laughs> cup of yummy cheese sauce. Mm. The original patty melt here is just that beautiful patty, cheese, and onions. Yep. We added bacon and egg to yours. Yes. And I don't know what happened to mine, so just disregard everything happening over here. This may not look like the most appetizing thing in sure the world. It sure does, actually. But <laughs> it is so delicious. When can us Chicagoans expect another Graham Elliott restaurant? Maybe sometime next year. Thank you for joining us on Chicago's mm -hmm. Best. I only did it for the malt. <laughs>